kind of fitting that they mentioned this sector and suddenly we're back at it. Now, one thing I find pretty amazing about this, uh, how um, uh, this part of sector one is built, is that it kind of reminds me of, of all places, Norfair, especially lower Norfair. And there's a reason for that that we will be aware of pretty soon. But for now, we need to basically get a move on out of here. We have no other objective than finding a way to link up with um, HQ. They are probably not happy that we ruined their little um, method breeding program, but... We had no way to get out once we had uh, dealt with the uh, security robots. So, what were, we, what were we supposed to do? this layout exactly, but I think that leads... <clears throat> At least I want to say it does. I want to say that's... yeah, that's metal. So, heading on through here. We get through here using that. And well, this is as far as we can go here. There's of course one crucial part of Samus' um, arsenal that we are missing. Apart from the um, uh, the ice beam. And hopefully we can find a way to recover that shortly. So, this place is pretty tricky. The door is locked. And if we want to get out, we need to destroy these golden um, space pirates. They're only vulnerable in the back. There we go. So once that's done, the door will basically unlock itself. Uh, I believe these guys are going to spawn one of those. Which is gonna be quite the thing. If you press enough, that can act as a recharge room, which is very helpful. Uh, I believe that leads forward to something we don't want to deal with yet, because I do want some more health before I go do that. And save room, of course. Alright. I would recommend killing these guys uh, one at a time and jump to try to intercept the uh, X parasites. Because if, if they get all fuzzy like that, uh, they can be a pain to get um, to basically pick up again. Luckily, we do have uh, the wave beam, so we don't need to waste power bombs and risk getting something painful to fight in here. Seeing as the room is quite cramped. And I know it's very time consuming and very annoying to do this. 
but I would recommend it. At least to get most of your uh, health and ammo and stuff like that back. Especially if fighting the golden uh, Zabesian space pirates were uh, a pain to go through. I think we're pretty good now, so... This room is pretty simple, just three these guys using a diffusion uh, missile and that is okay. So we're gonna have to slowly get out and go back in here. We restock, then we're gonna save, and then we're gonna be heading for what was behind that uh, Ghidorah. Ooh! Yeah, I think that's full. That is as full as we're ever gonna get. Seeing as save rooms doesn't fully heal, uh, fully heal you or fully restore uh, weapon ammo unless you save at the ship and the ship is very far away from us, I would recommend that you do what I did, save, and then go back to the end of that room there. Because, well, we have no other way to go and you usually regain um, core abilities by defeating a boss that have been infected by the X, so... Well... Let's see who it is. It's a very, very familiar foe. But like everything else that's familiar, it has to be a bastardation. Say hi to Neo Ridley. Now, if you want the faster way to kill him, beams, uh, shards, wave beams deal a lot more damage than your diffusion missile does. Plus, it can't necessarily be blocked by his body if you accidentally shoot it in the wrong area. And you can see that his color changes to basically show his health. He's focused with basically being a dead animal at this point. So, keep popping him with uh, the wave beam. Until the form dies out, the X core is revealed. So, they even infected someone like Ridley. This is quite easy to think about, so there we go. So, have you figured out what we're missing? It's time for probably Samus's most well recognized ability apart from the Morph Ball the screw attack. Somersault into enemies. So we have a very similar jump to what SAX had. But of course it has to be something different about it for us because the SAX uses our old power suit. Meanwhile, everything is different about Samus in this game. But the screw attack is probably the most powerful ability in your arsenal at this point, and if you master the space jump, it will never run out, basically, so... We now have access to pretty much... everything. 
So with this ability, the entire station is open to us. So, if you do want to um, complete the game, I would, uh, without a doubt, recommend that you wait with getting the remaining power-ups until this very moment, where you essentially have the answer to every single puzzle in the game. <laughs> because there are some areas you can't get to without a screw attack, because it destroys a certain box. Uh, similar to how there are certain areas you can't get to without uh, power bombs, for example. So, Square Attack breaks, breaks through those mysterious blocks that we've seen throughout the entire game up to this point, basically. And it's also the only thing that can kill the Richter. If you want a quick and easy kill on the Ripper, definitely freeze him first, else. Do that, and if you manage to kill all the Rippers without opening this door, uh, you're gonna have to play risky. There we go. Lost a bit of health there. It's definitely a lot easier to just freeze the uh, Ripper and be done with it. But luckily, if you aren't good at the space jump, you can regain everything there, and this place should be familiar. <laughs> so we have two rooms we haven't even been to yet, so we're definitely going to check those before we go to uh, the navigation room. And we can see here that this place definitely started to change a bit. That cracked Metroid skin wasn't there before previous room. Uh, we can finally go through that water without any issues. The platforms uh, are destroyed by the screw attack, so we keep screw attacking. We can use a way to kill those guys. So with the gravity suit, we are immune to the lava here, meaning that we could basically just roll on through here and grab that. Plus, if there is something else in the room, now would be a good time to go and grab that as well, such as this one. And we can just screw attack our way up here. Another Metroid skin that has been shedded. It seems that that instant growth program is definitely working. Uh, oh yeah, it's up there. Our bomb tank. So. I don't know here. I've only been recording for 27 minutes so far. <laughs> oh boy, there isn't much left of this game. I think when we talk to uh, Adam in the navigation room here, we're basically going to be given our final mission. 